Hi everyone, Pastor Greg, checking in with you this Thursday afternoon, June 11th. As we look ahead to the coming weekend, we're going to have a very special service planned for you. Jeff Specht is going to be with us this weekend, sharing music, also sharing from his testimony about his own journey back to God, how his life uh, was like that of the prodigal son. So join us for worship, uh, Facebook Live, 8.30 or later in our archive broadcast, or listen on the radio at uh, KCCR at 11 a.m. It, uh, it's going to be a wonderful worship service. Looking ahead uh, for this weekend and the following, uh, June 21st, uh, we will continue to offer our worship online, uh, Facebook Live, and also uh, on the radio at KCCR. Uh, the recording time will be at 8.30 a.m. Uh, and then looking ahead to June 28th, we're going to join with folks from First Baptist Church and First Congregational UCC at Griffin Park in an ecumenical event. Uh, we're going to worship together outside and share the beauty of God's creation. It'll be an opportunity not only for us to come together face to face as a congregation of United Methodists, but also to join with our brothers and sisters in Christ at First Baptist and First uh, congregational, and uh, we simply ask that you come, bring your lawn chairs, and uh, set up uh, in socially distant locations from one another, uh, but we uh, look forward to this time of, of celebrating the gifts that God has given uh, to the broader body of Christ within our community. And then uh, July 5th, the following Sunday, we are anticipating that we're going to return to modified in-person worship. And just as we had worship at 9.30 on June 28th, we're going to start at 9.30 on July 5th. And that's the time that we're going to maintain throughout the rest of the summer. This will be a, a service in the sanctuary. And uh, because we will need to limit the number of folks that uh, will be able to be present in the building and we'll also have to maintain social distancing, we're not gonna be able to seat to our full normal capacity. And so you'll be hearing uh, in the next week or so about a process by which you can let us know in the church office of your plans to attend worship. We wanna make sure that we are able to accommodate everybody within our uh, modified uh, ability to seat everyone. But we've learned from other churches that have already begun this move uh, back towards in-person worship is that folks are being responsible. They're being cautious. And indeed, as you shared in uh, the survey that many of you completed uh, within the last couple of weeks, uh, a good number are saying, you know, we're, we're going to be patient. We can uh, wait a little while before we uh, uh, return to church in person. In the meantime, uh, they are going to participate online, uh, listening to the radio, and I want to affirm, certainly affirm, those options as being important ways that we can stay connected. But we do know that we want to begin the move uh, back towards gathering with one another. The other uh, uh, policies, procedures, things that will be a part of our move towards in-person Worship will be explained in, in greater detail. We're in the very final aspects of uh, determining what all those things are going to be. And so uh, we'll be sharing those with you in detail very, very soon. The Beacon of Hope is a new ministry um, that uh, we are able to offer not only to the people of our congregation, but also to the, uh, the peer, Fort Peer area community. Uh, Abby Ferris has been working to put this together as a way of recognizing uh, folks who are beacons of hope. A beacon of hope is a person who gives back to the community, helps others, brings joy with them everywhere, and expresses the love of God to every, everyone around them. There are people within our congregation, within our communities, who fit the definition of a beacon of hope. And of course, 
This ministry has been made possible by a generous benefactor who is sharing with us uh, gift certificates to be used in the businesses in downtown Pier. There is a nomination form that today is being made available on our Facebook page. That's Pier First United Methodist Church. You can also get that uh, form by contacting us at the church by phone. We'll see that you get one. Also, we'll have them available here at the church to be picked up. The deadline for nominations is July 6th, and we'll be making uh, the announcement of the uh, uh, recipients of the Beacon of Hope uh, recognition about a week later. So this is a time to celebrate what God is doing in and through people who are beacons of hope in our community. I pray that God would continue to surround us with people who inspire us, who encourage us, that we might be encouragers of one another. We still are in some real challenging times. We know that the COVID-19 pandemic um, is not going away anytime soon, and our lives will continue to experience significant impacts from that. We also know that this is a critical time in our nation as we deal with the topic of race relations, uh, various reforms in our, in our communities, especially with regards to uh, policies and procedures in law enforcement. And through all of these very difficult things, one thing is constant, and that is the grace of God, who, which can, can bring us together, help to build bridges of understanding. And we pray that God's grace will lead us and guide us through everything uh, to come. So God be with you. God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend.